Dancing in Melissa's room is like walking into sacred space. Each time when I dance, I feel a something new person. You get to talk with yourself. I got to converse with these unspoken voices in me. It's a space where people can be messy and they can be fully themselves. Melissa creates a community for people to know that they can go and come back. I am more resilient every time I come. She sees what's going on and meets you where you are. She's letting you know how important you are. It's magical how you find peace with yourself when you are here. I'm working with brilliant, young, emerging leaders who, by destiny, grace, have found me and I've found them. They're all people who are called to action, to heal, to make sense out of the stories of their own lives, and to turn that into medicine for other people who have similar struggles. It's very hard to dream when you are in survival. Where I come from, you're surviving all the time. On the reservation with dysfunction, we are taught to be outside the body, to not think, to not feel. It's very easily for teenagers to fall pregnant or to abuse alcohol or to be in abusive relationships. When you grow up in refugee camp, there is no hope. The organization's cares is for your survival, so they bring food and then clothes. But no one cares about how you're feeling. Where I came from, um, people don't, don't think they can do much. Golden Bridge has shown me that you have other options. Your body is your first home. Your body is the first place that you exist in. I'm using my body to experience everything, how I inter interact with a person, how I feel my emotions how I handle stresses in life, and how I make decisions. All these things happening in life every day is based on what I am experiencing in my sensations, in my cells, and in this framework of my body. So many young women come in who have been disempowered through poverty, young women who have experienced violation, genocide, young women who've grown up with extraordinary amounts of privilege, who have had access to choices more than they know what to do with, and feel disempowered because of their own overwhelm. So I came into this work in crisis. I was in all kinds of shock and needing a container in which I could be held and heal. The mentorship and the healers really in this space um, nursed me back to life. When we have experienced trauma too much, too soon, and too fast, in order for us to be able to move forward in a connected way, we need to heal. We actually need to unwind that overwhelm in the body. And we can't just talk about it. It needs to happen at the level of our sensations deep inside the body. This work starts with the body and the breath. It starts with the dance. And it's so much more than the dance. One of the principles that I really respect about this work is that of titration. We have this concept that we heal layer by layer in these bite-sized pieces. I cried all the time during my first time with Golden Bridge because I hadn't healed from the loss of my parents and 
all those pain and whatever I went through, it's awakened in me the need to go back and try to understand maybe the other women who have been living the same lifestyle I was living and thinking they are normal. The first year I came, and now who I am, totally different person. The way I speak, the way I carry myself, the way I teach, the way I stand for myself, I feel this is my responsibility. Whatever I learn here, I can share. It's really changing and growing, and now I feel like we have a really, really awesome, solid team, really kind of grown up together. Just being involved on the dance floor with all these programs for years is really how you learn about tracking people. People come back year after year, so that they can really learn that and like know how to actually work with people in all these different ways so that they can go back and do that in their communities. It started right in your living room and then it went out a little bit further and then it went into the classroom and then it went out to the community. And now there are girls groups happening all over the planet. It's been my responsibility and my greatest joy to take the curriculum that has organically emerged out of the needs of myself and the young people around me right here and to shape shift it so that it's relevant and, and then set it free through these amazing leaders who are out there bringing this work into refugee settlements and onto college campuses and, and sort of everything in between. This is a community that doesn't come together just for a workshop and then fling you back out into the world. It's revolutionary in the way that the old ways of community are being rebuilt. What's happening here is really, really changing women's lives. I can feel that each of the women that we work with has something really powerful that she is cultivating and creating as her offering. I'm so touched when I see these leaps in consciousness and self-empowerment, in creative expression, in agency, in fire, and in humility, quite honestly. When I come here, I feel like it's a space for me to dream and, and gain a different perspective on how life can be. And that then give me different ideas, you know, to take home and to also inspire the young people that I work with to, to dream beyond. The importance of staying connected to yourself and having healthy mentors in your life can really transform your outlook on things. Women can deliver children, but it's not just children, they, they can deliver solutions to the problems of this world we are living in today. I want to see these girls to become grandmothers, not die as beautiful teenagers. If we can catch the young people before they give up hope, before they apologize for their unique intelligence, before they run and hide, or destroy themselves and each other and give them spaces and role models. Who knows what's possible? We gotta give it all we got, because that's all we got. And the time is now.